Hello everyone and welcome! Today's video will be a little bit different because I want to share some of my favorite Christmas books of this year. And uh, I will just show you what books uh, my child loves the most and a book that as a parent I recommend to all parents for Christmas. <music> to share today is It's Christmas David. This is from the series of David by David Shannon. The first book was No David and my child was already familiar with the character of David who is a little bit of a naughty boy, uh, always uh, trying to do something naughty around the house uh, and having other people reprimand him because of the naughty things he does. Uh, so It's Christmas, David uh, is a very nice continuation of the theme of David and you, find, you will find David uh, again doing something uh, very naughty uh, from the first page um, and this page is also very uh, similar to the one in No, David and you will see David getting more and more busy in naughtiness uh, and then something will happen there will be a, a little accident or a little crisis but then everything resolves very well and David will enjoy Christmas at the end what I like about this book is how it is written uh, the words are very simple so most children can read it by themselves and even my one and a half year old when he was one and a half uh, could already uh, point at the words no and just go no 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 or no David and what I like about this book is uh, that the language is very simple like in no David although it's a little bit of a step up from no David and one of the features that I like is the back of the book where you can see the Christmas list that David wrote for Father Christmas. Uh, so your child can also try and decode what is written in the list or you can uh, explain to your child what a Christmas list is or how to write one if they have never done it before. They can recognize some numbers um, in the list or they can recognize some letters and some words. And uh, the text inside is also uh, very child friendly and very uh, childlike uh, so your child will be uh, amused by the pictures but also by the simple language and they can try and decode what is written in the book with you. Another book that I like very much especially for my toddler uh, that is now two is this book. Uh, this book is about the vocabulary of Christmas, uh, the original, the, the origins of Christmas and the vocabulary um, associated with the original story. So I like this book because uh, it's small, so the, my child can uh, manage it by himself very easily. Uh, it has very thick, uh, undestructible pages. Uh, and it also has, I don't know if you can see it, but it has kind of a granular um, uh, feeling uh, and some uh, glitter on the front and in each page. Uh, so your child can also have kind of a tactile uh, experience, a sensory experience while playing with this book. If you want to uh, add to the uh, sensorial experience, you could also use some essential oils or some spices and just put them on the pages so that your child will be able to smell uh, the pages as well as touch the pages. And uh, inside you can just see some vocabulary. So uh, this is Mary, uh, and this is Joseph, and then you will see um, uh, a verb like go that is very easy for the child to read and also to decode. Um, and you will see some more complex words like Bethlehem, 
And my favorite page in this book, I will not, ju I will, I will not share the whole book, uh, but this is one of my favorite pages because it has a very big star and uh, you can see the reflection, the reflection uh, in the star when you open the page. And my, my child loves this because he can see his own face in the star uh, and he starts observing himself and commenting on what he sees. And then you can use it as a mirror basically to just uh, look at other things as well. Uh, so I do like the sensorial experience that uh, a toddler can get with this book. Um, and I think it's perfect for toddlers that do not know about Christmas or the origins of, of Christmas yet uh, and uh, um, for parents that want to start talking about the vocabulary uh, associated with Christmas. Then again for very uh, young children this is a very enjoyable book because it is like a 3D puzzle. As you can see you can open it piece by piece and you will see something behind it. There are other images and you basically are just peeling the 3D picture uh, piece by piece as you go through the book. And this book is by Scholastic and the, the, the text of the book is just the lyrics to the song Silent Night. So you can put on this, the song and sing the song with your child while you read this book or you can just uh, sing the song while you read the book. And um, for me, using songs and following the lyrics on a page is one of the best ways to learn a language. It's the first thing that I did when I started learning Chinese, for example, and just singing and seeing on paper what I was singing and how it was pronounced by the singer or by another person really helped me a lot to associate uh, what I was reading with what I was singing to the, the sounds to the letters or to the characters in that case. Um, so if your child is into singing and uh, loves singing with you and reading books with you, um, I highly recommend this book. You can sing with your child, point at the words as you are singing them uh, so that your child will also learn to do that, uh, imitating what you are doing. Then another book that I would recommend, uh, although this is a book I found in Italian, uh, is um, from by Edizioni del Borgo, uh, which is a uh, an Italian printing, uh, printing agency. Um, it's called uh, Che Bello Il Natale. Christmas is so beautiful. And it's a flap book uh, where you can open up different flaps and find the same pictures that are in the, uh, in the page. Uh, and you can also open up each of the pictures on the big page and see what words they correspond to. So this is not for uh, toddlers specifically, is for older children as well because uh, they can uh, start exercising their reading, um, uh, their reading skills. Um, and one of the best pages I think in this book is the last one where you have a lot of different Christmas presents and your child can just uh, flip open all the flaps and see what's inside the presents and it also has the name of the thing you can find in the present. Um, so your toddler will appreciate uh, opening all the flaps and just uh, trying to find the same pictures as in the ones in the flaps. Um, or you can also use some toys and let the, your child flip, flip open the flap, find the same picture in the page and also associate it with a toy or a decoration that you have in your home. And if you have older children who already can recognize some words and letters, you can let them uh, try and decode the letters on the flaps uh, or decode the, the words on the flaps and guess what's inside the flap. And then once they have found the picture, they can go and find the same picture in 
the big page. And finally, a book for parents. This book was recommended to me by another mother and I didn't expect to be so inspired by this book, but I was. And I actually started uh, a new family tradition based on this book. So the book is by J.R.R. Tolkien and is Letters from Father Christmas. And the book is exactly that is letters from father christmas um many of you may know about tolkien's uh lord of the rings the hobbit silmarillion etc uh and i am a fan of all those books so i was surprised at the beginning when i was suggested this book because i i i never thought Tolkien had written about Father Christmas uh, and I couldn't really connect the, the idea of Father Christmas with all his other lore. Um, but once you read it, you will understand why it is so moving and inspiring. This book was not published by Tolkien himself, but uh, it was published um, by his children um, and this book contains all the Father Christmas letters, the letters from Father Christmas that his children received every year uh, and it was it's so inspiring because um, these letters uh, describe what happens in the North Pole during the year, not only at Christmas, but uh, they describe to the children different crazy stories that happen to uh, Father Christmas and his helpers like the polar bear or the elves um, or what happens with goblins uh, when uh, when it's not Christmas. Uh, so some of the letters are, are not written around the time of Christmas. They are uh, written all year round. Uh, so I highly recommend this book. It will be uh, hopefully a great inspiration for you as well. You can also see the pictures of the letters that he wrote to his children and inside the letters uh, sometimes you will find also very beautiful illustrations that Tolkien himself um, uh, painted or drew for his own children and this has inspired me to start a similar uh, family tradition uh, and hopefully my child will also get lots of letters from Father Christmas with very interesting stories in them. Uh, I hope this has also given you some ideas uh, for some uh, presents for your children or for some reading time with your children or even to create your own Christmas tradition. If you have liked this video, please click like and subscribe and leave a comment and share this video with your friends. Merry Christmas, everyone.